Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a dilly onion bread. Now I already have a loaf of Italian bread. I've sliced it lengthwise in one inch strips and then crosswise in one inch strips. Not cutting all the way through, just so that it's still connected at the bottom. It's going to be kind of a pull apart bread. And I've sprinkled it with my cheese already. Now in my bowl here I have mixed together the 8 ounce tub of Philadelphia chive and onion cream cheese a tablespoon of dill, a quarter of a cup of butter, half a teaspoon of garlic, salt, and what else? Oh, yep, and a tablespoon of Dijon. Now, all I'm going to do is get this, finish getting this mixed up, then I'm going to spread it on top, kind of get it in the cracks a little bit, and then we're going to wrap it up in the foil, and we're going to bake it at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes just to heat it through. I'll come back and show you what it looks like before I wrap it up, but I'm going to go ahead and spread it on there now, and we'll get going after that. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I have it all spread on my bread. We're just going to wrap this up with some more aluminum foil here, and pop it in the oven like I said earlier, and then when I come back, I will show you what it looks like all baked up. It's hot, steamy, and yummy. Now, I have a little bit of extra spread. You can either put all of it on there, or if you wanted to kind of, I don't know, go a little bit less, if you want less cream cheese on there, you can definitely use the leftovers as a sandwich spread. It is awesome on a piece of rye bread with some turkey and lettuce. I'm not a fan of tomatoes, but some people like tomatoes. Or rye and pastrami with this dill spread is amazing. Or even corned beef. So give it a try. And that's what you can do with the leftovers. As you know, I like to make leftover makeovers. So any of the leftover spread that you do not use, you can use as a sandwich spread. Put it on a bagel. It's awesome either way. And uh, I will be back when this is all baked up. Alright, I'm going to fold my dilly onion cheesy bread out of the oven and I'm going to get the rest of dinner ready. But I'm going to pull my bread out of the oven and I will show it to you and then we are going to sit down and have a nice dinner with this as our side dish. Carefully remove the foil. As you can see, all that yummy cream cheese is melted down into the bread, and the cheese is melted. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get into it. So I hope that you enjoyed this recipe as much as my family.